There are several lace triangle shawls out there that start with the same technique of casting on a few stitches and picking up stitches around. And they are scarves that look like this. I have worked a few of them myself. This one I will give you a link to this pattern. And it is for this little bit of knitting right here. And when people read the pattern it does not make any sense <laughs> and so they think they are not understanding what it is. But it is a weird little bit of knitting. I want to cover this technique so you can see how it looks kind of blown up with bigger yarn and you see that it actually does work. You are not misreading the pattern. Um, Let us take a look on this lace scarf. You can't even see it. It is this little bit of knitting right here that just gets you started with the right shape for, um, for branching out and knitting the rest of the shawl. The whole shawl starts from right here. And um, this is a finished bit blown up. I have only done the first couple of rows. And it is this bit right here. I know it probably doesn't make any sense but it, it works out for the rest of the shawl. And this of course is a lot easier to see considering that this is the weight of yarn you are usually doing it in. I think that adds to the confusion quite a bit because it is just hard to see when you are using this yarn. Much easier to see when you are using this yarn. Okay, let us cover the technique. The pattern will tell you, and they start, these patterns all start out the same like this. Um, they'll tell you to cast on three stitches, and there is something that I'm going to show you that I did not do in this scarf. Let me get this right here. Um, there's actually a bump right here, and that's because that is my slip knot. It is neater work to do a cast on without a slip knot and you will avoid having that bump. That bump is not distressing me in any way but I always try to do the nicest work I can. So I am going to do a long tail cast on slingshot method and I will give you a link to this cast on if you want a slower breakdown of it. I am going to cast on three stitches. Okay. And then the pattern tells you to knit six rows. Oh, one more thing. I advise you to start on double pointed needles for this bit. You don't need the double points, but this part of the scarf is so fiddly that you'll do better to not have a bunch of cord flapping around getting in your way. This is four. Okay. So you end up with this little tiny bit of garter stitch knitting. Excuse me, just a moment here. Um, six rows, three ridges. Now the um, first thing the pattern tells you after you've knit those six rows is to pick up three stitches from the long edge. There's the short edge, there's the long edge. And I find that I can pick them up the first one just after that ridge, kind of halfway into that ridge. There's one. You notice I'm using the same needle for this. So I'm kind of changing the direction of my knitting. Um, using the same needle, kind of stretching this bit of knitting around. And the third one I am going to pick up right before the corner. Okay, so now I have six stitches on the needle. The next bit of instruction tells me to pick up three stitches from the cast on edge. Now this is the part that everyone gets confused about because that is going the wrong direction. We have already come from over here and over here and now we are going to back, go back over this way. I swear this works. Normally when you are picking up stitches I um, advise you to pick up both legs of the V. Kind of too much to do for this one. I am just going to pick up the front leg, this one here, the front leg of the V of the cast on stitch. If I can. Lots of tension on the working yarn to get that to pull through. And I'm having a pretty easy time seeing where I'm going with this. It's kind of a different story when you're using the lace weight yarn. Okay. 
Now, <laughs> see I told you it was going to work out. There's the beginning of my lace shawl and I have nine stitches on the needle. The next um, row of your pattern, of course all patterns are different, but the next row is usually a wrong side row and it gets you started on the increases. So this is a really brilliant way to start uh, a, a triangle lace scarf. It's a really smart, but the beginning can be confusing. Hopefully that cleared it up. Thank <laughs> you.